a day with Dr Hamster. Pepper and Susie are spending the day with Dr Hamster. They are learning all about what vets do. It's very nice to have two helpers with me today. And I see one of you is dressed as a nurse. Yes, I am Nurse Susie. <laughs> I am Dr Piggy. <laughs> very good. I'll just call in the first patient. Lots of pets have been brought to see Dr Hamster. Thank you all for waiting. Next patient, please. That's you, Nigel. Grumpy Rabbit has brought Nigel the Newt in for a checkup. Nurse Susie and Dr Piggy are with me today. We are learning about being vets. Jolly good. Now then, Nigel, how are we today? Oh, good, you're fine. That's great. Just make sure Nigel drinks lots of water. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now then, can Nurse Susie and Dr Piggy call in our next patient? Thank you all for waiting. Next patient, please. Pedro is here with Stephen the Stick Insect. Hello, Peppa. Just for today, can you call me Dr Piggy? OK, Peppa. Let's have a little look at you, Stephen. Something's wrong. He's not moving. That's what stick insects do. They keep still and look like sticks. Oh, yes. Of course. So, is Stephen all right? Apparently, yes. Just make sure Stephen drinks lots of water. Goodbye. Bye. Can I call the next patient? Yes, please. Next! Oh, it's me! I have brought my two guinea pigs to see you. They're adorable! <coughs> Ginger is clever <coughs> and Brian is sensitive. <coughs> yes? But now they have swapped around. Brian is clever <coughs> and Ginger is being sensitive. <coughs> They both look happy to me. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad I came. Just make sure they drink lots of water. Next! That's me and Polly Parrot. Me and Polly Parrot? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Copies everything that is said. So, what's wrong with Polly? Polly's got a cough. <laughs> that is a very unusual cough. I've never heard a cough like it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Polly hasn't got a cough. Polly is copying Grandpa Pig. Copying Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no problem then. Polly is fine. But what about me? I really do have a cough. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry, Grandpa Pig. I can't treat you. I'm a vet. I can only treat animals. Yes, of course. Just make sure Polly drinks lots of water. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm a bit tired now. I hope we don't have lots more pets to see. The waiting room is still full. Oh. OK, everyone. Just make sure your pets drink water. Goodbye. <laughs> That's it. No more patients to see. We can call it a day. What's that noise? Look, there's a box moving in the corner. That's Tiddles the Tortoise. He's waking up. What's he doing in a box? He's been sleeping all through the winter. It's what tortoises do. <sighs> you must be hungry after all that sleeping. I'm thirsty. <laughs> That's right, Dr Piggy. Tiddles needs water. That's right, Nurse Susie. Have you both enjoyed learning how to be vets? It was brilliant. The best day ever. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love being vets. Everyone loves being vets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. Peppa <laughs> Pig. The Big Hill. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Peppa. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Peppa and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? Brilliant! That will keep me going. Oh, nearly there, George. It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there. It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK. We've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> Don't... no, Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course. But maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> Peppa Pig. This is my little 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Hippies. Today, Peppa and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa! Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, my little ones. Granny, why are you dressed? Funny. Granny is playing another little game with her friends. It's not a game. It's an historical reenactment of an ancient time, the 1960s. Ooh. So, I'm dressed as a hippie. What is a hippie? It's what Grandpa and I were a long time ago. Hippies loved colourful clothes. Yes, those were good times. And I've got costumes for you and George. Pepper and George <laughs> are dressed as hippies. Have a nice time. I'll see you later. Uh, 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 hang on, Grandpa. You have to dress up too. What? But I... Uh, if you I, don't uh... join in, you're a square. Why did you say Grandpa is a square? A square is what hippies called people who were grumpy and boring. I'm not grumpy or boring, so I suppose I'll join your little game. Good. I found these clothes in the back of the cupboard. Wow. This is my old flowery shirt and my velvet bell-bottom trousers. <laughs> Maybe this will be fun after all. Follow me, everyone. We're meeting my other hippie friends in the garden. Grumpy Rabbit is dressed as a hippie. Groovy man! Madame Gazelle and Granny Elephant are dressed as hippies too. Out of sight, dudes! Freak out, baby! Do you cats dig our bean machine? What? He means, do you like the van? Oh, yes! It's very nice! So now everyone's here. What happens? We're going to do things that hippies did in the 1960s. Well, I was there at the time, but it's so long ago, I can't remember what we did. If you can remember it, you weren't there. Hippies played music. And sang songs. Groovy Rainbow, hear my song. Flowers. They wore them on their heads. <laughs> there you go. Flower power. Flower power. Hippies wanted to be one with nature. We wanted to save the planet. We do that at Playgroup. Save the planet. <laughs> That's right. The children have been learning about nature. <laughs> we have been saving the planet by planting a little tree. Pepper and her friends like saving the planet. Trees are wonderful living beings. When we were hippies, we used to hug them. Oh. Let's all give the trees a hug. Come on, Grandpa. We're all doing it. Well, I suppose things can't get any sillier. <laughs> the trees like hugs. Of course they do. Oh, oh no, it's raining. Oh, chill out, Daddy. Oh, rain is part of nature. And it's only a little shower. The rain is stopping already. The rain has stopped. But now the ground is all wet, it's probably time to stop the hippie game. Um, did hippies jump in muddy puddles? Well, I don't quite remember. Jumping in puddles is really fun. And hippies like fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is groovy. Out of sight, dudes. Right on, man. It's a gas. <laughs> I love being a hippie. No, <laughs> hippies love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Rainbow, hear my song This is my little 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Flying discs. Today, Peppa and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. Ooh, what is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> That is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. <laughs> to you, Mummy Pig. <laughs> to you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's okay, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. Okay. Hold it flat and spin it. To you, George. <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you. To you, Pepper. What? Got you. Oh, our disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen a blue disc? Yes. I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy. Are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy. But do it right. Oh. <gasps> All the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry. I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes! All the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeeze! <laughs> oh, I think it's broken. Keep shaking, Daddy. Shake harder, Mummy. Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. Uh, I'm trying my best. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Oh. Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> okay, everyone, watch what my disc does. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! To you, Danny! To you, Peppa! Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs>
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> little cars. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. <laughs> Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes, I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> Oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go. <laughs> now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learnt at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um... Don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This 
This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. Peppa <laughs> Pig. Dinosaur party! Today, Peppa and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa Pig! Hello, Peppa and George! Dinosaur! Grrr. And hello to you too, Mr. Dinosaur! Rawr! <laughs> It is Granny Pig, dressed as a dinosaur. My goodness, Granny Pig, you gave me a shock. Sorry, Grandpa. Didn't I mention I was doing a dinosaur day today? No, you didn't. Granny, why are you dressed as a dinosaur? I'm doing an historical reenactment about dinosaurs with my friends. It sounds like an excuse for another tea party in the garden. <laughs> it's not a party. It's all very serious and based on facts. I am dressed as a Tyrannosaurus. Ooh. And I've made costumes for Pepper and George. Pepper is an Allosaurus, and George is a Stegosaurus. <laughs> Here is Granddad Dog. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And what are you supposed to be? I'm a Triceratops. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It is Granny Sheep <laughs> and Granny Wolf. <laughs> ah, I know what you are, a Brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name these days is a Patasaurus. Wonderful. Well, I'll get on with making the cups of tea. Thank you, Grandpa. Everyone else, follow me. This is how the world looked a long time ago, when there were dinosaurs. Ooh. Let's start our historical reenactment. What do we do? I suppose we just stomp around and roar. Oh. A long time ago, dinosaurs walked the earth. Just like this. I see the party started. It's not a party. Hello. Hope I'm not late for the party. You're just in time. Ah, a cup of tea. Thanks, old chap. It is Grumpy Rabbit. He is dressed as a caveman. Why are you dressed as a caveman? Well, you said it was a dinosaur party. And dinosaurs and cavemen go well together. Ah, uh, actually... Anyway, I'm good at being a caveman. Ah! Uh, 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 I hope you don't mind, but I asked my daughter along to the party. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Hello, everyone! Oh, sorry! It's a bit hard to control this thing. Stand back, everyone! But that's a dragon, not a dinosaur. Whatever! You have to admit, it's good. I suppose it's like a dinosaur. OK, everyone, on with the reenactment. Hooray! <laughs> How long is this going on for? Didn't the dinosaurs die out at some point? Yes. 66 million years ago, the world was hit by an asteroid. What is an asteroid? It's a huge ball of rock floating through space. An asteroid would be super. But where can we get one? <laughs> it is Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. I heard you were having a dinosaur party, and I thought I might be able to sell you some stuff. That's very kind of you, Mr Fox. I've got rubber pterodactyls, plastic nodding herbivores. We need an asteroid. It's like a ball. And it has to be very big. I've got just the thing, a giant beach ball. Wow! Perfect! That could be our asteroid. <laughs> You've got people in fancy dress, palm trees and a beach ball. This is a perfect beach party. It's not a party. And you can't have a beach party without music. This is the best party ever. Pepper loves dinosaur parties. Everyone loves dinosaur parties. <laughs> Do the stars. 